an iconic building housing a flagship energy research facility, is set to grace the campus of the University of New South Wales. Deputy Prime Minister Julia Gillard officiated at the sod-turning ceremony of the Tyree Energy Technologies Building, which will house all of the university's internationally recognised energy teaching and research. What projects like this one show us is that already researchers, people who are focused on this nation's future, are coming together to do the work and research that is going to make a difference to the way we live and the way in which we earn our living as a nation in a carbon constrained world. As politicians generate a bit of hot air, the hard work is already happening and much of that hard work is going to happen in this building that we're celebrating today. The $125 million facility will house four research centres as well as the School of Photovoltaics and Renewable Energy Engineering and the School of Petroleum Engineering. The building is named after UNSW alumnus and philanthropist Sir William Tyree, who will contribute more than $11 million towards the new centre. Students from this university have had a large impact in Australia and internationally and were well sought after for leading positions around the world. And it is a great privilege again to be able to give something back to the university and I sincerely appreciate the honour of having this new building named after me. The building itself will be a showcase for the university's sustainable construction expertise, aiming for the maximum six-star Green Star rating. So we'll have our own world-leading photovoltaics on the roof, and we are world-leading in that. We will also have green steel as part of the fabric of the building, uh, which will be steel, which will be using waste plastics and rubber that will go into the blast furnaces to make that process much more efficient and effective. And also the tiles on the building will be uh, made from our own patented process on taking fly ash from power stations and turn them into useful products. It's a great privilege to be here with Sir William to turn the first sod and I'll look forward to seeing the building when it's here in grand design and scale and finished. Thank you very much.